I met Guy for the first time in London and he was so lovely and we connected and we got along very, very well. And then a few months later, I got the script and they're like, there's a script that you have an offer for, for a Guy Ritchie movie. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it came back uh, 360. I mean, I think there was a whole year in between me, exactly a whole year of me hearing about the script and then the first day I was on set is exactly a year in between that. So it was very beautiful. It was exactly around my birthday, I remember perfectly. What I found fascinating about the real life Marjorie was just, she was, I mean, completely efficient across the board. And what I think the guy has been really great at is bringing that to this script and just adding what this character had. And what she had was obviously incredible wit, incredibly smart, knew everything she needed to know. She was tactical in every shape or form, but also, you know, we've added, she knew multiple languages. She used everything in her box of tools. And she, as you see, is she's quite the brains of the operation. The men are just doing the heavy lifting because she's always ahead of the game and she's quite smart. And Guy really focused on that and made her, I mean, the way that Guy does with female characters, just multifaceted and entertaining. For me, it's really important to create characters on screen that portray the way that I feel of being a woman. And I think that there's so many historic female characters that have been done and haven't been able to be shown on screen. And this was one of them. And I felt this was a great opportunity to bring, shed some light in some uh, specific type of story that we hadn't seen before. And, and at the same time, um, I just think that people are going to be really shocked by by what she brings to the table. I think I have the largest ca costume and, and the, the largest change in hair and makeup and costume in the whole cast. I think the boys are in one costume the entire time so Lulu had a lot of fun and the hair and makeup department had a lot of fun. But it's great, I mean, it's it's just, I've never played a period piece. You know, I grew up as a Mexican woman seeing all these movies and being like, I'm never gonna be able to play any of these roles because I'm nor English or American. And there was very few Latin characters at the time in that world. So it's always been my dream to be in this look and, and being able to bring it to life has been incredible. And I mean, the team has been nothing but absolutely aces i mean from the research they have from books like vintage books they open every single detail to all my makeup are like remades of original makeup in the 1940s so they've been quite specific and it's been but also giving it a twist right what's this beautiful modern what works for me and my look and It was terrifying because we were on set and I've always thought about when I watch movies with like live concerts and stuff like that, I'm like, that has to be terrifying. And I had to be on that stage and really feel confident. So I did a lot of research obviously of, of the period and how women sort of danced and I looked a lot at Marilyn Monroe at the time and the way that she performed, the way she sang and I wanted to bring all that to, but with a twist of modern time because I, I still feel like even though Guy Ritchie always sort of chooses for specific periods of time, he always brings a certain modern twist to it, so it feels sort of time, uh, timeless in that regard. But, um, but yeah, I, I, that scene was incredible, and we shot, he chose a song on a Monday. I recorded it in three days. I learned the whole song in two days. I've never heard Mac the Knife before, which is a total embarrassment for me because it's such a great song. So I had to learn Mac the Knife in three days and then really I heard a lot of different takes of the song and we really wanted to bring a little bit of all of them into the recording, um, especially because it, it needed to match the action. So we wanted to have like big crescendos with the voice and whatnot and really intertwine it with the softness of the s sensuality that she's doing it, but she's fun too. And then he threw some German in there as well. and. I mean, it's been a whirlwind, but I feel really excited and I can't wait to see the final product. We focus on her strengths as a woman and what she really brought to the mission versus anything else. And 
I think that at the end of the day, I mean, it just goes to show how well equipped she was that she really helped incredible. She was a huge, huge piece of the puzzle when it came to this mission. So um, it is really cool to be able to bring that real story to life. More than anything, his strength is he is incredibly smart as an individual. He's just so well informed, so educated, and really is curious about the world. And so he brings that curiosity into what he does. And he you can feel it on set because what I think that his biggest forte is his dialogue. He has such a witty personality, and that really transfers into his dialogue while you watch any movie he's ever done. And so... I just have enjoyed every single day. You know, the cutest thing is when you work with directors that they're like big kids. And so you see Guy chuckling over something that he came up with and he really is chuckling. And he's like, this is so funny. And he'll keep laughing. And, and I just find someone that is like so interested in dialogue and, and finding a rhythm into the wittiness of someone else's brain, um, incredibly fun and entertaining. Well, what I hope that global audiences experience when they're watching this movie on the big screen is the beauty and how rich it is. I think that is such a, the way that our DP and our director have worked on this movie, but every single detail, even walking onto set is incredible. I mean, you look at every single detail and our, our the props people, I mean, they found everything to be authentic and real. And so I feel they, I hope they feel transported into the real time and really feel like they're part of this mission and that they're in it. Because I think that that's the way that this film has been designed to be an, you know, like a fly on the wall within the mission. And I think that they're going to have so much fun. And I also hope that the takeaway is learning and getting more curious about what happened historically while, while this mission. And so I think that people are going to really, really love it and, and have so much fun. It's, it's such a fun film. Heron and Marjorie, I, I, they're quite a dynamic duo. 